Oh, g'day again. Okay, this is another short one. Okay, this distributor was... It was just worn out, like, what it was doing. Was it was... Yeah, flopping up and down. It had a heap of movement, like... Uh, three mil, four mil. It's heaps. Right. When you look at see the wear on the drive gear, it was barely engaging the drive shaft anymore. Um, you know, I mean the spring adds to that, doesn't it? That, well, I haven't even got the right spring. But, but I think. Got a theory that what was happening was that the actual distributor drive shaft was moving up and down. Now, when it does that, it's altering your timing because it's on a um, like the spline, yeah, you know, comes up at an angle. So as it moves up and down, you'll know if you ever pull one out and put it back in. You got to turn it as you as you push it in. So, if it's moving up and down, it's altering the timing. And, uh, yeah, I was also concerned about, as I said, it's barely engaging the, the gear anymore, you know. If it wears anymore, it might pop right out altogether. And, yeah. Anyway, this is not the original distributor that came with this engine, the one that came out of the 1300. I swapped it over because the, uh, the vacuum advance failed and I was just going to take the vacuum advance of this one and put it onto that one, but it's totally different. It won't work. Point system's different. Everything's different about it. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, that one wasn't that much better as far as wearing it anyway. So what I've done, I've noticed... You got this wire ring. We're out of focus. Come on, focus. Right. So that's. I can do this one handed, but I actually did it with a with a cutting blade. But yeah, it's yeah, you know, like it like a key ring setup, and you just you pull out. Yeah, one edge of it, so you see that one edge separating, you just put one edge up and you just wind it out. Once you get that out, there's a pin in there. And I mean, it's in there fairly tight. I had to put, I had to clamp. First, I had a lump of wood under here, but it was just moving around too much, I couldn't knock it out. But uh, yeah, end up putting it in the vise. Yeah, knocked it out. Important too, if you do take this off, that you put it back on the right way. Like I've just set the engine up on the, yeah, you know, on the firing straight, and yeah, you know, looked at how the offset is on this, so I know I can get it back in. I've got this set, yeah, you know, on. Turn this up to number one. Um, if you don't know how to. Yeah, get on the compression stroke. It's fairly simple. It's real simple actually with the Volkswagen because you can just clip the timing cover. And what you do, you wind it round, you know, the way that it turns clockwise. All right, you watch your inlet valve go in when it comes back up. And you've got about another half a turn when you get it at top dead centre and you'll have your piston. Yeah, this is on your number one where you ride up. So, in there, actually, I'm just going to be fingering the port. It's probably too big to fit in there, but. Uh, see? Pistons right up. These are rocking. Uh, and, your, and your mark's lined up, top to the centre. So, you're on the firing straight. And uh, 
Yeah, you should have your your um your rotor button pointing at number one plug lead. So yeah, that's how you know you, that's how you set it up. But anyway, as I said I did that. And uh, yeah. Took note of sorry. Got away the place here. So that's offset. You got a bigger piece and a smaller piece, see? A smaller house on the outside. So I've got to set my distributor up pointing at number one with a smaller half on the outside. But uh, yeah, getting off the point. Got it done here. This is little shims in here. There's also some sort of a fiber washer in this one. So, yeah, I've taken the, the two shims out of that one, which was still wasn't enough, and then I looked for in the yeah, box of washers, and I found another shim that's the right size, and uh, so there should be no play in there whatsoever. Like when I, I put all the, the shims out of the other one in it, there was still about a mil, and so we should be pretty close to zero now, and... Uh, So I'm going to set that up, small half on the outside, I think I better go and check that again, I've got a shop of memory, but yeah. punch it back in, wind the ring back around it, there we go, we've taken the play out of the, out of the distributor, and I mean, yeah, it's more an indication, you know, it, like, when I can afford to, you know, down the track sometime, I'll spend, you know, two, three hundred dollars on a new distributor. I'll get a proper, you know, Petronics electronic one to go in it. But for now, you know, I've spent, I've overspent, and there's nothing left to spend on this now, so I'm going to make do with what I got and, uh, yeah, improve on what I got for the time being. So, yeah. Anyway. Just thinking too, people go to a lot of trouble. You know, if the distributor drive shafts in, you know, if somebody's put it in on the wrong straight, and this engine was like that when I got it, and yeah, it wouldn't start when I first got it, and yeah, swapped the plug leads around because the drive shafts 180 degrees out and the way it went, which is, you know, pretty simple. But, you know, it might confuse someone else down the track, but, I mean, rather than pulling a drive shaft out, you could swap around your, your distributor gear, bring it back to look them apart. I'll, yeah, I don't know why, whether you'd bother, but, of course, that'd be confusing if somebody else, if, well, you know, you put a new distributor in it, and then it won't go, <laughs> because it's 180 degrees out, but, I don't know. Anyway, bubble in here. But yeah, just wanted to show you. There's there's ways of doing things without always having to you know, spend money buying new stuff, you know. Well, if you can spend the money and buy new stuff, do so. It's the best option. But sometimes, like this situation with me, you just don't have that option, so... You know, mate, what you've got work. Anyway, just wanted to share that. Thanks for watching. Bye.